years. The last day in February. There's every four years there's an extra day, February 29th. Um kind of. February only has 29 days. Instead of like 30 or 31. I think it happens every four years, I'm pretty sure. This is kind of hard to explain. <laughs> yeah, leap year. What? Not leap year, leap year. I'm not sure, whatever that is. I do not know what leap year is. It's like, okay, so. It happens every like four years. Uh, kind of like the solar eclipse? Yes. <laughs> really? Yes. And why so? That's what I'm asking you. Okay. I need more background information. Uh. <laughs> Leap year is when there's another day added to the year because the sun, <laughs> because that's the way that the Earth orbits around the sun, right? I'm not sure actually. I actually could not tell you. A leap year? Well, it's a year that is one day longer than the three years that preceded it and the three years that follow it. So, the Earth revolves around the sun every 365 and a quarter days. We can't have a quarter day in the calendar. So to make up for this minor discrepancy, which we wouldn't notice in solar and universal time, but we would notice in Earth time, we combine those one quarter years into one extra day every four years. So theoretically, in 2025, our time will be one quarter of a day less than it actually takes us to travel around the sun, but don't worry about it, we'll catch up in 2028. The term to describe someone used born on February 29th is loser. No, I, I really actually don't know. The person born on February 29th, are they called a leap kid? No. A leap baby. A February 29th. -er. A Armageddon child. Antichrist. I'm, I'm just we're looking for help here, Joel. A leapling? That's awesome. I remember them. They were in The Hobbit. <laughs>